So hello everyone. In this video, we'll try to understand the difference between the map and filter. We know what is map. We know how map works. We have seen how filter works, right? In our previous video, we created the simple, you know, a logic where it will filter out the values which are greater than 10, right? If you see 12 is greater than 10. So we are actually trying to get the values which are less than 10, right? So obviously 12 is not less than 10. So if you see the result, it's not printed the 12, right? Now, the same logic, right? Instead of filter, I'll just say map. We'll see what the result will be. Did you see? True, false, true, true. Because it is false, the first it is 12. So obviously it's not less than 10, so it's false. So three and four is less than 10, so it is true and true, right? So now you might understand even more how map works, right? We already seen this particular image in our previous video, right? So what map does is it will apply this logic on each and every element in our P collection, right? 12 is one element, three is one element, four is one element. So first it applied this particular lambda logic, right? Whatever the logic which is less than 10 on this particular element. So it did not satisfy that condition. So it says true. But technically speaking, it's not filtering out your values. It is just saying whether this condition is satisfied or not. Where in case of filter, it filter out the values instead of saying true or false, right? That is a major difference between the map and filter. Hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.